Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about limit. So now I will show you how to answer question number one to question number three. So now I will show you how to answer question number one. We have inequality in here. So they want to find the limit when s approaches to number zero of this function. So to do about this one, so we can put about the limit for the both sides. So we know that this is about the sweet theorem. So when s approaches to number zero, we put number zero cone here, and you got about number two in here. We put number zero cone here. Cosine of number zero, you got about one. One with number two, you got about number two. We can see that the limit on the left and the limit on the right, they have number two. So we can know that the limit of this one should be equal to number two. And that's it, the answer for question number one. Now let's go to question number two. Consider the B's wise function. We have this one in here. Question A. We need to find f of number two. We see that s is equal to number two in here. So we just put number two for s in here. So the answer that should be about case square and we put number two from s gone here and we have negative two k because the question they want to find compute the following in terms of k and this is the answer for a question b we need to find s approach to number two on the right on the right that should be about this one in here because this value is greater than number two, so they should be about on the right. So we just put number two cone here, and we have two k square minus two k. Question C: They want to find the limit when s approaches to number two on the left. So on the left is about the negative, so that should be about this one, and that's about number twelve. Question B, using the result in A about find the values of constant k for which the function f is continuous at s equal to number 2. So to do about this one, the value of the limit on the right should be equal to the value of the limit on the left. So, we have this one in here. So we have 2k square minus 2k equals to number 12. Now we need to divide by number 2 for the both sides. So I will put number 6 on the left. So we find the solutions of k, and you got about k equals to negative number 2 and positive number 3. And this is the answer B. Question C. If 
f of s differentiable at s equals to number 2. Now, we have two solutions in here. So, when k equals to negative number 2, so we put negative number 2 go in here and here. So, we have about the b's y function. So, this should be about negative number 2 with the power 2, you got about 4. Negative number 2, negative number 2, you got about 4. This one is about 12. If they want to differentiable at s equal to number 2, so First, the derivative of this one should be equal to first the derivative of this one. First, the derivative of 4s. First, the derivative of s. You got about number 1. So, we have number 4. First, the derivative of number 12. You got about 0. So, we see that the the differentiation on the left and on the right they are not the same so this one is reject now we go to k equals to number 3 so we put number 3 going here Uh, 2 with number 3 is about 6. So we do first the derivative. You got about 9 in here. This is about 0. So that means after we analyze everything, we cannot differentiable at s equals to number 2. So we say no solution. Now let's go to question number 3. Using the limit definition of derivative, we need to find about this one in here. So the formula that should be like this. So, we have s plus h, we put this one going here. So, we have 5s plus h to the power of 2 plus 2 minus 5s square plus 2 in here. So, we need to expand this one. We need to open parentheses. So, Phi multiplied by s square to s h and h square. Number two minus number two, they can so we just have negative phi s square. Now. I need to put the limit in here.
So phi s square simplify phi s square. So now we just have this one. That's about ten s h plus phi h square over h. Now we divide by h and h. So we have ten s plus phi h h approach to number zero. So we just have ten s. So the final answer should be like this. Question B: Using the result in a about find the equation of the line tangent to the curve y equal to 5s square plus 2 at the point 1, 7. So the formula of the tangent. This one we can change into 10s0 in here. Now we have the point one seven. And that's it about S zero Y zero. So we put number one going here, number one going here, number seven going here. So we have number 10 multiplied by 1, you got about 10, 10 multiplied by s and negative number 1. And we have 10 s minus number 3. And that is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.